as long as you are not interested in paradise and have no problem in going to hell hey yo what's up everybody welcome back to another video it's your boy jesse keegan and your girl funny Lungu. and we are funny and jesse. jesse so today we're gonna do another russian video we did part part one of this one and today yes. and today yeah part one really killed us so bad to a point where we couldn't even breathe at some point but <laughs> we couldn't see. even react to that yeah. Rest of the reaction. Let's see what this is gonna be to us today. Uh, today we're gonna react to Shake being funny and savage. So without any further ado, let's get it. This is really bad. Is it this guy? Uh Wallahi, I don't know <laughs> what I wrote. I can't even read my ha own handwriting. All these follows. The only thing that's going to happen to you is on the Day of Judgment, right? Come here. Who did you follow on TikTok? Here's all the names. Who are these? You can't say Sheikh Beyonce. Sheikh. I have my most important exams till now in my life, inshallah, right after Eid. And I'm worried that I may uh, lose uh, the strength for preparation, uh, what is the ruling for me? There is no problem, Akhi, as long as you are not interested in paradise and have no problem in going to hell, you have no problem, you can skip fasting. Can you hear me at the back there now? No. <clears throat> we heard you say no, that means you heard <coughs> <laughs> what is Mufti Mink or a human being? <clears throat> you eat pig, you behave like pigs. <clears throat> Yesterday I had a question from someone, a silly question, very silly question. <laughs> someone asked me, will we be allowed to steal in Jannah? I mean, how far can your mind go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you. You're so beautiful. You're so nice. I got a question, by the way, a couple of days ago of someone saying those who play soccer or football, as we call it, on grass, are they sinful because they are running on grass and they're hurting the feelings of grass? What is this? <laughs> Remember this guy here? I told you, wow, look, my beard and his hair. Same thing, right? He's got an upside down beard. <laughs> One guy's wife's name was Hasana. So when he made the dua, he says, "Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana, wa fi al-akhirati hasana, wa qina adab al-nar." So Allah bless me with hasana in this world, bless me with hasana in the hereafter. But save guard me from punishment of hellfire. He told me, he says, "I have a problem." I said, "Why?" He said, "You know what? I can only make dua for my wife." I said, "My brother, my brother, you and I know. Give her a nickname, solve the problem." <laughs> Guys, let's start Ramadan with a bang! Thank you. Asked me, you know my girlfriend, will she be in Jannah with me? I said, are you going to get there in the first place, bro? <laughs> she might be there waiting for you and you might be somewhere else. Right? What do you do for a living? What do I do for yes. a living? I worship Allah. You worship Allah? Allahu Akbar, Barakallah. Thank you. Mashallah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If my wife were to phone me now and tell me, move to the left, I'd move to the left, even if there's no place. Out of love, that's it. So what? If that makes her happy, it makes her happy. You know, people might say, this guy is a chicken. I don't mind being called a chicken. I'll even quack quack for you a little bit, so long as she's happy. And there are Muslims here, that are here, that are going to be here. And if you don't like it, I would suggest he go somewhere else. But I don't know where he's going to go. If he goes back to Europe, a lot of Muslims in Europe, I've been there recently. You go to Africa, you go to South America, you go to China, you go to Malaysia, you go to Japan, you go to the Antarctic, there's Muslims. So I would make a suggestion, if he wants to go somewhere where there is no Muslims, I suggest he goes to hell. Someone tells me, well, I, I, um, I get angry a lot. So he says, uh, they nicknamed me in my family AK-47. 
You know AK-47 and the Kalashnikov. This Imam, he was so upset that he told them, you know what, you people are hassling me so much, harassing me, one day I'll leave you in sujood and I'll disappear. <laughs> and so they, they thought it was a joke. This foolish Imam actually did it. When he, he went in sajda and, and he prolonged the first one. So when he prolonged the first one, and he came up from it after a long time. People thought, okay, this man has got a long sajda today. He went in for the next one. When he noticed everyone is down, he went out of the trap door in the front of the mihram and he was gone. <laughs> so be careful. Question is, if I'm praying and I see like a bug or a spider or something, can I break my prayer and go somewhere else to pray? You see what? <laughs> if the bug is bigger than you, probably yes, you can. But if it's an ant or if it's... A, a, a cockroach that you can do this with your hand and it goes away it's not gonna hunt you down and it's not equipped with special skills and it will come after you no it will run away then you have to continue in your prayer if you're getting a cobra or a black mamba coming to you don't play brave uh, and and just continue salat because we'll do your funeral a couple of hours later no run or try to kill it a lot of people ask about halal dating, for example. And I was busy telling him, you know, the dates that I know that are purely halal are from Medina Munawwara. <laughs> Those are the ones really, they have chocolate coated, they now have strawberry, they have so much. Those are halal dates, my brothers and sisters, really halal dates. Do you know them? Do you know them? <laughs> MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. Plain. And I had an atheist sitting next to me and we were talking about faith and he said, you guys are very bad. The Muslims, I said, no, you get good and bad in every faith. He said, not Islam. I'm saying, what do you mean? He said, Islam, everyone's bad. You believe in Quran? I said, yeah, Quran, we believe in Quran. He says, this Quran, it's got bad things in it. I said, what? He says, you know, it says that anyone who's not a Muslim is going to hellfire. That is very bad. You guys are filled with hatred. You guys, I said, brother, you don't believe in hellfire. Why are you worried? <laughs> Don't invite me, don't call me, don't text me, I'm not interested, leave me alone. One day there was a man, he was sitting with me on an aircraft. He told me, do you believe in evolution? I told him, what's that? Trust me, even he did not know. He didn't know. He told me, we are from apes. I said, I'm from Adam, maybe you're from the ape. Hmm? I am from Adam. Maybe you're from the ape, subhanallah. So he said, no, 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 we are from apes. I said, so why are there still apes on earth? It's a question. And why the apes on earth are not changing to man? By now should be no more apes. Anyway, that discussion ended in a nice way, in a very beautiful way. And what we agreed is we have to also respect those apes. Not because they are his grandfathers, but, <laughs> but because it's a creation of Allah. I always look at the youngsters and I say, enjoy your hair while you can. Thank Allah. If you thank Allah for it, perhaps it might not disappear. But if it does, it's a beautiful thing. What's wrong? Half the world is bald, including the cameraman in front of me. Mashallah. I was wondering what light was shining here. And I realized it's not a light. It's a beautiful hair. May Allah bless you, my brother. Cigarettes. Hello. Yeah, as long as you don't light it. <laughs> My question is, uh, does God need us? No. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna tell you something amazing. So, a oh, guy messages sorry. me and tells me, Assalamu uh, alaikum. Uh, sorry to ask you, but I heard that you have passed away. Uh, please confirm if it is true. So, trust me, I said, MashaAllah. Yes, I have passed away and you know what? I am actually messaging you from Jannah <laughs> and there is uh, some internet, it's quite high speed, subhanAllah. <laughs> so why don't you pass away too and then maybe we can just be here together and have some, you know, have a cuppa, you know, subhanAllah. So it was amazing. And this is not the first time it's happened to me. It's actually the second time that this has happened where someone has messaged me saying, I heard you passed away, is it true? I mean, come on! If the guy died, would he reply you? I, I don't know the logic, man. Subhanallah, Rabbil Alameen. Great. Nah. What's up? Yo. 
Let's take a look right behind us, right there. Oh, yeah. Ah. It's that black cube in the desert that the Muslims worship and kiss the ground five times a day. Okay, I will answer, inshallah. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Aftab from India. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. Can you mute your music, Aftab? This is an Islamic uh, program. What do you want to do? Kill us? <laughs> Best of the Christian Catholic women become nuns. That's considered as good as you can get in their religion. In their religion, if she wants to be a good woman, she has to be a nun. And being a nun means she doesn't get married. How many husbands can she have? None. And how many children can she have? And how many grandchildren she can have? <coughs> now you know why she's a nun. <laughs> We're praying to Allah, we had this one kid. There's always one kid. You know, shayateen are changed, but children are not. Right? This one kid goes from one soft to the other stuff going <laughs> and he's got like one row, next row, next row and he does this every time and then he's, he likes this one particular row because it's got windows so he goes <laughs> and the uncle next to me is fuming I could see like smoke coming out of his ears like <laughs> 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 So like the fourth or the fifth, yeah. Uncle grabs the kid's arm like, ah, bus <laughs> It's haram to claim this about the angels, and many people do this. When they see a little infant smiling, they say, oh, mashallah, the angels are making him laugh. How do you know? <laughs> How do you know it's not the devil's poking his cheek so that he would smile? This is something of the unseen one should not talk about. <laughs> Basically speaking, we've answered this before, perfumes that have alcohol are totally prohibited to drink. The sheikh who would drink it, you tell me. <laughs> Applying it externally is totally permissible. Oh, but it contains alcohol. So what? I remember the guy, the guy saying, well, you know, my wife is a bit out of shape. SubhanAllah. <laughs> Brother, you look like a pig. <laughs> you worried about what your wife looks like. Are you worried about what you look like? It's like the guy telling his wife, you know what? Your belly's a bit big. She says, I know, I'm about to be a mother. What about yours? It's big as well. He says, well, I'm about to be a father. <laughs> Funny. Was Sheikh, oh, Hakim, if I'm saying it right, takes the man, crown. I got, yeah, I got the chaps, man. He's really savage. Why would you tell someone no? It's <laughs> on live television. His response was... He said, does, does God really like us? He said, no. Straight he up. He said, like? They said, like or something. He said, no. Need us. Yeah, does God need us? No. Actually, God doesn't need us, to be honest. I think we've spoken about this actually. Yeah, it doesn't need us. The guy just said no, no explanation. They gotta go, man. <laughs> it's like those one question answers. I think he was really expecting a really deep conversation. Yeah. But it was really disappointing. But yeah, it yeah. was really funny. But I'm thinking the first part was really funny. Or maybe I expected I expected more on this one. But still it was funny. I expected more from this one yeah. as well. Like but 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 because but what funny. part one gave us was insane. I don't know what part one there's this one one that ish it killed me. The one mm -hmm. that you showed me after the reaction? Yes. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like, what was that one about? What did you say? It wasn't the crocodile one, was it? <laughs> it was that. It was not the crocodile, it was this guy. You know the fact that you're laughing the way you told the joke. <laughs> He said, Shake, 
I <laughs> my mouth Stop accidentally. Stop laughing so that I get the joke. Stop it. <laughs> my mouth. Yes. I accidentally. <laughs> But <laughs> biryani went into my mouth. Oh, it was the shawarma. <laughs> yeah, the shawarma went into my mouth. Accidentally. Accidentally. Then, <laughs> then a slice of an apple. So, yeah. And then what? What was the question though? No, you said, so, um, should God forgive me or should God... And then he said, um... What should is, God forgive me or should God what? No, should I like continue fasting, fasting yeah. or... God should forgive me for for that. What then, was your response? No, he didn't respond. He was just shocked. He was like, <laughs> he was left shocked. You didn't. You can't remember that, Mufmeng. It was a Mufmeng. <clears throat> it was Mufmeng. He was left shocked like this. He was like this. Yeah. The other but about the crocodile. It, it was now shake. It was a Mufmeng. It was just some other guy. It was moved me. You can check. Wait, no, we'll, we'll watch it after this. It I don't. Know, I feel like the, this video speaks for itself. I mean, if you don't laugh, then I don't know. Yeah. But watch the first one, yeah, then come to yeah. this one. You know, and just let us know what you think. <clears throat> yeah. Just let us know in the comment section below what you think. We're gonna put the first video so that you can also laugh. It's, it's gonna be two at the end. Yeah. To laugh. It's great. It's Once in a while, yeah. you know. So go crazy with this. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in our next reaction video. And deuces.